Lolly is a form of anime in which the female characters are depicted as children or even babies. Now you'll see gaslighting in this and anim- uh, like from anime Very apologists. Not that. all anime is sexually explicit. Not all anime is the perverse, dark type that we're talking about, but it does seem, as we have talked about many times and as we'll talk about even even more after we go through some of these examples, there does seem to be a very distinct connection between those who watch anime, especially certain parts of anime, forms of anime, and gender confusion and transgenderism. What up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Rant Room. And I am your host, Dante, and we are back with another video. Now, we are here once again to talk about another L from the conservative camp because they've been collecting a lot of these L's as of recent. Oh, as no. you can see from the intro of this particular video uh, and this article from Kotaku. Now, I know, I know, I know. We don't like Kotaku here, I get it. But in this situation, they were correct. I know, conservatives want to pull a manga from libraries over school shootings. This is in regards to Assassination Classroom, which I did cover a few weeks ago, right? Now, conservatives in terms of the culture war are falling behind. In my honest opinion, they are falling behind. And it's mostly due to the simple fact of their inability to be more open-minded. I know. Oh, no. But I call it like I see it. I may agree with a lot of conservative talking points and yada, yada, yada. But I am not an absolutist. And no one else should be an absolutist for any faction. Whether you be left, right, or center. Don't be an absolutist. That is dangerous very dangerous and also conservatives have been making a lot of enemies with the people in the anime and manga camp people who'd love to be part of the conservative coalition might rethink that plan as a lot of conservatives demonize anime or anything remotely different <laughs> i'm just calling it like i see it so anyway we're here to talk about this guy uh, right here on Twitter. Miles, Ian Miles Chong, um, going after furries. Now, let me be straight up with y'all. <laughs> I have no interest in furries, okay? I'm no furry expert, as furries aren't remotely my speed, but I know this guy is completely wrong, and... The right is known for being wrong like this. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. Okay? So make sure you guys do me a favor and hit the red subscribe button for more content like this in Nerdiki Culture. Let's get out to 2K subscribers. We really appreciate your guys' support. And let's jump right into it. So the tweet says, Furries have uh, sex with animals are not are now upset with Ron DeSantis' uh, won't let minors go to their <laughs> sex conventions, and they're apparently part of the LGBTQ alphabet uh, suit. Now, that's what he says. Now, it's a tweet right here in reference. He's talking about, I guess, a furry fandom con? I did not know that was even a thing until today. Um, just announced it would ban minors based on the governor's ridiculous laws. Um, I don't know much about furries. I really don't. And if you're a furry listening to this, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> it's just not my thing. But from what I've seen, it's typically just adults in, like, Barney-type outfits just doing their thing. Do I think it's interesting? No, I think it's rather boring. But to me, outside looking in seems rather harmless. Now... Um, do they do or engage in certain acts that not suited for kids? I'm sure that's maybe the case. So maybe Florida has their reasons. I don't know. I'm not into politics like that. However, be that as it may, this guy and this tweet 
is completely wrong. And <laughs> this guy being a Elon Musk and um, Twitter supporter gets fact checked by Twitter and says the tweet is the tweet incorrectly conflates furies with zoophilia. Now. I'm glad they corrected them. Said the conference in question is not sexual. If the organizers change the age of entry to avoid legal issues that could stem from false equivalencies like this tweet. We're not going to click that. <laughs> um, theories are not an LGBTQ identity. I gathered. I think people no matter the sexuality are part of the fury uh furry fury furry fury whatever fandom right <laughs> okay i'm sure you'll correct me in the comment section but yeah uh they all seem to be part everyone wants to be part of the fury fandom so it's not just an lgbtq thing and it's true um according to even like wikipedia zoophilia is a paraphilia in which a person experiences a sexual fixation on non-human animals bestiality is when someone you know conducts the horizontal boogie on animals as in human to animal sexual you no know, contact that's bestiality so this guy here i'm surprised he didn't delete this tweet i'm sure he will in due time that's why i figured i do this video now um it's wrong He's absolutely freaking wrong, okay? It is what it is. He's wrong, okay? I call out everybody. I've called out people who are uh, Twitter mutants. I've called out um, everyone. Conservatives are not exempt from being called out. I don't care if you are conservative. <laughs> if you're wrong, you're wrong. It is what it is, okay? So, they get fact-checked by Twitter, and we saw it here. It's he's wrong. This guy is wrong. This guy has a massive following of 625.2 followers, K followers, right? Major influence. So the things he says has massive impact. So furies of oh, furries, furries against DeSantis. Literally every part of your tweet is false, every single part. So yeah, um he is wrong. <laughs> He's wrong. Furious furries. <laughs> this also <laughs> okay. So people were cracking jokes about this in the comment section. But either way, comment section or not, it's wrong. This is a prime example as how of how conservatives are going to lose a culture war. Because anything that's different, that's anything that's not biblical, is a problem. Now I'm not saying I agree with everything. In entertainment, of course, there are things that's like, okay, we all can agree left and right, that's just wrong. But the right, if you want to win this war, this is not how you do it. Um, you demonize anime, demonize manga, demonize furries, demonize uh, comics because it's not, I, I don't know, I don't freaking know. Either way, this is a bad look. Um, the sad part is, I believe that a lot of his conservative um, allies will probably share this and think this is true, which it's not. Anywho, that's all I got. But what do you guys think about this entire situation? And how do you guys think this culture war is going? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you have not subscribed, please consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this in the culture. I would really appreciate your guys' support in growing this channel. And I'll see you guys, as always, in the comments section. And peace.